Howdy. Top five programming languages in the world. No, um, that was another video. Top 10 worst 10 and dying programming languages that you gotta avoid. And if you're using them, you have to quit immediately, ASAP. Because we all know that not all the programming languages endure forever. In fact, even the once most popular programming languages crumble away at, at some point. And it's inevitable. You know what I'm saying? Because new generation programmers and developers embrace new features, new languages, new you know, ideas and frameworks, which are even easier to use. Because nobody was unnecessary and effort. You know, time is gold. Gold is time. Anyway, you, you have this question in your mind that Oh, also, how informative are your informations? This is just the imagination that I have about your voices. I looked at what programming languages are really active and popular in which websites that programmers and developers are highly active such as GitHub, Twitter, Facebook, Stack Overflow, and Reddit. And I also looked at Google Trends and Stack Overflow Trends to see which program languages are experiencing upward or downward growth between 2013 to 2019. In this case, we can predict which languages will be dying out or will even experience more dramatic decline by 2022. I think that was a lot of talk. Without further ado, let's begin. How was the intro? All right, the language that it is in the bottom of our list is called Perl. Perl is a family of two high-level and general-purpose and dynamic programming languages. While this language has some features that ease the task for programmers, it comes at the expense of greater CPU and memory requirements. Nonetheless, widespread developers embrace the language for things like building websites. It means that Perl is just going to fall in the increase of misuse. Although we've been all expecting that Objective-C will entirely fade away, Apple is actually too keen on its eventual demise. And Swift, the modern version of Objective-C, is becoming entirely effective for building iOS, macOS, and cross-platform applications all around the Apple company. Companies of Apple. What am I saying? Alright, Cold Fusion. Cold Fusion. I'm not really sure about the pronunciation, but it's fusion, I guess. As mentioned by several reports, a gradual decline is being observed by the use of cold fusion. And despite being updated by Adobe on a regular basis, cold fusion is yet to gain momentum in the market and the community of programmers alike. Dude, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. What are these names? Why a name should contain a number? Like the name of the Elon Musk kid. What was the name of it? Cobol 6T. Cobol is actually really difficult to use because it has some strong typing rules. You know what I'm saying? And it is more difficult to parse. As a result, big corporations are showing the symptoms of moving on. Let's move on, mate. Pascal is an imperative and a procedural programming language. Hey, that's pretty good. That was organically and originally designed for those who want to teach programming language to people like me and you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm on, I'm on. The story of this language is pretty simple and tragic. Pascal, the program language, led to the creation of Delphi, which is a language that you might be familiar with. I'm not familiar with. Such a shame. Delphi soon took the place of Pascal, condemning it to the list of top dying programming languages. Shame. Erlang. Erlang is a general purpose functioning programming language and a garbage collector running system. It has built-in support for concurrency, distribution, and fault tolerance, which made it pretty relevant in some large telecommunication systems. I don't want to explain about this language. Why? I don't like it. Coffee script, like JavaScript. <laughs> All right, CoffeeScript is a language that compiles to JavaScript and adds systematic sugar inspired by Ruby, Python, and Haskell. Haskell, Haskell, who cares? In an effort to enhance JavaScript's brevity and readability. But despite its prettier look, like Swift with Xcode, it kind of adds a level of ambiguity to the code. So that's why we have to say bye-bye CoffeeScript. These shots aren't good, are they? You know, while CoffeeScript's growth was sharply declined by 2013 to 2018, it declined even more 
from 2018 to 2019, which makes it easily predictable that it, it will die out soon or it, it might even die out. And it's kind of cool to know that of all the top 10 languages that we're talking about in this video, CoffeeScript has experienced the most dramatic decline according to Google Trend and Stack Overflow Trend, which is really a big shame for its creators and its users and CoffeeScript developers. You know what I'm saying? ELM, L, while Elm's growth trajectory was rising from 2013 to 2018, it declined drastically from 2018 to 2019. Why? The reason for that is that it's been it's been two years since the last update to Elm programming language. This kind of makes Elm look sad and dead to the newcomers. And this does not mean that Elm is not usable or is not kind of mature for programming purposes. However, it does make Elm stable for comparison. It means that Elm will not get as much recurring exposure to broader and new adopters. Am I recording? And here's come the moment you've been all waiting for and I've been waiting for. I'm too keen on to talk about it. This program language is really popular. I know so many people are actually using it. They have this illusion that it is on demand, but I looked at several websites and all of them gave me this fact that this language is dying out. Nobody even hires a Visual Basic app developer. Yes, Visual Basic. While Microsoft has created C Sharp to target its own CLI runtime, its creators also created a version of Gates' beloved language. The language is still bore the same tags of basic but the coding approach was actually really similar to c-sharp it is kind of obvious that the world would embrace only one of these languages and people embrace c-sharp instead of visual basics after all the majority of dotnet developers are actually c-sharp developers and their numbers are only growing that's the reason why dotnet has been reduced to c-sharp it's little step broader this kind of means that the opportunity for vb developers going forward will be niche if not existent Hence, it tops our list of 10 dying program languages by 2022. All right guys, if you still think that any language was missing in our list, tell me in the comment. I might create another version of this video. And if you think I was wrong about any of these languages, I don't care, bye. So make sure that you boop the like button for the algorithm, for the sake of God. And don't forget to subscribe for the 18 years of happiness, bye. Cheese, no design on my jacket. Work hard, and I'm changing my bracket. Talk tough, we ain't hear that racket. Guys came in, you know how to stack it. Take it wrong, but I'ma need my ends though. I got tigers on my chest like Kenzo. Rail came, yeah, he pulled that Benz though. Cows here, man.